Hi everybody and welcome back to Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel and today we have a 60 second interval insanity workout for you. If you miss any speed or incline changes, I don't want you to freak out or worry because we're gonna have all that displayed for you to see right over here. And then if you look over on the opposite side of your screen, you're gonna see this nice long progression bar that's gonna show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. Let's just make sure we have a towel and a water bottle handy because we are gonna get sweaty and if you're ready to get sweaty let's look down at that tread hit that start button in three in two and one okay here we go we start off nice and easy two five three five let's get the party started okay it says in the title 60 second interval insanity okay so everything i guess you would know is for one minute only we do have a two minute and that's going to come right after this other side if we finish this one minute walk we're gonna take it up to a two minute jog and that's the only thing we do longer than a minute, okay? So while I have you here, relax the shoulders down. Inhale through the nose, exhale, let it go. Just kind of get all the jitters out. So today's workout is 44 zero minutes long, right? One minute at a clip, just think one minute at a time. That's all you have to worry about. I love it. You love running this time of year? All right, here we go. Getting ready for a jog. If you can go maybe a 0.5 on your incline, let's hit it. Let's go four, five, six, five, three, two, one. Pick it up. Remember, we're here for two minutes. So this is the point where you can start kind of just warming up, building up slowly. You have two minutes to kind of slowly increase your pace because you might not be fully warm. We just started walking. Maybe the hips are a little tight. Maybe the breath isn't there yet. So, just shake out the arms. Inhale, exhale first, 30 seconds down. And then, give me a couple more. It's four, five, two, six, five. So, start picking it up. So while I have you here, we have three different blocks in this workout. So everything has a one minute interval. Each block is a little bit different. I'm only gonna cue the first block. The first block has 11. I don't know why I put up six. <laughs> six fingers like that was 11. All right, it has 11 intervals. Give me a little bit more on that pace. Four, five, six, five, come on. So what are we gonna do? All we're gonna do is increase by 0.1 for 11 rounds of intervals. That's it. Once we finish round one, I'll cue round two. But we're not there yet. Let's finish here. You get one minute walk and recovery, and then we go right into that first block. I know. It's gonna go by fast. 40 minutes like that. How you feeling now? Still maybe not warmed up, that's okay. That's all right. We're gonna get there. So the good news is, you do kind of start off slower right on your runs, because you have to increase 11 times. So you're increasing at least by 0.1. Five, four, three, two. Take it down, three, oh, four, oh. I got to tie my shoe, you know? A little casualty there. So we're gonna start with a 5.0 to a 7.5. 45 seconds, we're at three, oh, four, oh here. You're okay. Like I said, the good news is when we start this round of intervals, we start off on a little bit of a slower pace. We're increasing by the end 1.1, all right? You're like, you're just saying numbers, I know. <laughs> just stick with me. The first block should be the hardest. Once we get that done and out of the way, it's a little bit different. Harder in a different way, easier in a different way. Perspective. Get ready, 10 seconds. 5-0 to 7-5. Wherever you start, we're increasing by 0.1. Three, two, let's pick it up. All right, start off nice and slow. There's no breaks in between, okay? So you're running for 11 minutes straight. So this is the longest you've ever run. I want you to clear your mind. Stay focused here. This might be the hardest run you've ever done. All right, 
but you're gonna do it. You're not gonna quit. You're not gonna stop. You picked it. You chose it. The universe was chosen for, choosing it for you, I'm just saying. And you were like, this is the one. And the, it's meant to be. So no quitting. All right, you're already almost done with the first one. The whole first interval. All you're gonna do is pop up, point one, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, that's one interval down, 10 more to go. 10 more to go. Oh yeah, keep running. So might now, you might now start feeling like you're getting finally warmed up. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Oh, let it out. Get the wiggles out. Good, 30 seconds. We do it again. Right now we're at a 5-1 to a 7-6. You guys are looking good. Breath is a little shaky still. I'm gonna focus on my inhales. Slow up my exhales. 15 seconds. Interval number three. Five, two to seven, seven. And six. And five. Four. Three, two, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. We're here. Enjoy it. Like a lot of times you get on these workouts, you get on the treadmill, and you're like, shit, it's hard, it's tough. Right? How many times you get on the, on the treadmill, and you're like, oh, I enjoy this pace. I enjoy what I'm doing. I love the way I feel when I run. Probably not that often. <laughs> Nobody probably ever does that. Let's start doing that. You like enjoy what you're doing, right? 15 seconds, we bump it up again. Five, three, seven, eight, and 10, and nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, bump it up. Five, three, seven, eight. You're on interval number four already. Just like that. One at a time. So black one's the longest also. And the rest of them have recoveries in between each interval. So if you're feeling like you're holding yourself back, because you know we're in the beginning of the workout. I don't want you to do that. I want you to give it all now. Because you have more you have more space in the workout to recover throughout the, the rest of it, okay? So let this part be hard. Let this part be challenging. That's what it's meant to do. Wake you up, slap you around a little bit, get you a little sweaty. We increase again. Five four. Seven, nine, and three, two, pick it up. Round number five, almost halfway there. I know, it's weird, it's a 11 runs, not 10, not 12, 11. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, the pace should start now, picking up. The next half of these intervals, I feel a little tricky. Well, we like tricky. Okay, 30 seconds. Here we go. Gosh, you know, sometimes you just get the shoes that they just don't want to stay tied. That was the worst. Let's go. Feels so nice when they're nice and tight though. 10 seconds. We do it again. Five, five, eight, oh. And five, four, three, two, pick it up. We love to run. Good. Run number six. We're slowly progressing, right? Just a little. Just a little. By the end of this, right? You're like a whole 1.0 above. If you went back to your starting pace, you will laugh. You're like, oh my God. I was struggling in the beginning. 
holding this pace. Now look where I am. 30 seconds. <sighs> Let it out. It's hot here. Is it hot wherever you guys are? I know it makes it harder to run, easier to sweat, harder to run. But I like the heat. I like running in the summertime. It's like an extra little challenge for yourself. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, pick it up. Five, six, eight, one, run number seven. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Five more. We got it. Five more minutes. We've already been running for five straight. What's five more? They go by quick. One minute interval is just enough time. Keep you focused, ready for the next. Not putting you out, so no quitting today. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. 15 seconds, we do it again. Run number seven, five, two, eight, two, and nine, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now pick it up, five, seven, eight, two. Land soft on the balls of your feet. Keep moving that body. Who's in charge? Who's in charge of your body? It's you, right? So think about it. Tell your body, we're not tired. Tell your body how to move. Move light. Move quick. Don't sing so heavy. Pump the arms. Move the legs. 30 seconds. We do it again. We go five, nine, eight, four. In 15 seconds. I feel like I accidentally hit up my pace a little bit higher. I think I skipped one. I'm gonna bump it up even more. Here we go. Five, eight, eight, three. That's I think what correct. Three, two, pick it up. I'm just adding on more pace, making it harder. That's what we're living for here. You got three more. Run nine, run 10, run 11. Keep it going, keep it going. Two and a half minutes, straight running left. I'll, get, I'll cue the next block in two and a half minutes. Now we go five, nine, eight, four. 15 seconds. How are we feeling? Feeling good? I know. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good. Add it on. Five, nine, eight, four. You got one more after this. One more. Oh yeah, baby. Keep it going. No stopping. No quitting. When you break it up one minute at a time, I swear, it seems so much faster. <laughs> you ever do the intervals with us for like three minutes, five minutes? They seem longer. This one, not so bad. 20 more seconds. Let's do it again. We go, 6-0, A5, run number 11, and 10, and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, add it on. Good. One minute, you get a little break. Keep breathing. Keep working. 45 seconds, you guys are killing it today. I don't know, this is just the warm up part too, I feel like. 
We're finally ready for action. Right after this. 30 seconds left. I'm finally kind of getting that pep in my step. You know? Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But it's all right. We're still here. 15 seconds. Stay strong. Stay with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now walk it out 3 oh, 4 oh. Really allow yourself to recover here. So if you have to take it down to that 3, ain't no shame in your game, baby. Take it down to the 3. All right? One minute. All right. Let me get you to round number two. You have seven, seven intervals every time, okay? You go in between those intervals, we walk and recover. 3-0 to 4-0. Your, your interval pace is the same for each round. We go 6-5 to a 10-0. You can increase it if you want. You can keep it the same if you want. The paces are gonna stay the same. So, a hit interval, so you gotta move faster. Work hard and move faster. It's faster than anything you ran in the first round. One minute you push hard, you get to recover, so don't quit. Let's go in four, three, two, pick it up. Listen, it's only seven rounds. Honestly, with the walk and recover, I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, Mom mode. I don't want to hear the complaining about it. You get to walk in between, okay? We can do anything we want for a minute. It's perspective. How much time do you waste on your phone? A minute at a time. This is a minute that matters. So 30 seconds, stay focused. You get to walk on the other side. 20. Listen, it doesn't have to be faster than what you're doing right now. You just gotta do it. Six more times. Stay here. Another 10. Breathe. Six, five, four, three, two. Now walk it out. 3 0, 4 0. You're here for a minute. Hydrate. Towel off. That's the easy round. I say it's easier, but your hit interval pace should be a lot faster. So again, it's perspective. If running for a long period of time is hard for you, block number one was probably the kicker, right? Of running super fast, gases you out, then block number two might be it. Get ready, we're going. Interval number two. Same thing, 6-5, 10-0. 15 seconds. I get to flip the page after this, so you know that means we're almost halfway done. 10. Get ready. 6, 5, 10, 0. In 4, 3, 2. Pick it up, baby. Ain't no cry babies on the treadmill today, okay? You're gonna cry. You got 20 something more minutes, okay? I'm kidding. You cry. You need to cry, then cry. Let it out. Don't hold it in. But stay light on his feet, right? Your body should be fully awake by now. Tell it to snap back into reality. You are in charge. Tell your body, I'm ready to move. Move fast for a minute. Recover for a minute. Halfway there. Squeeze it. Feel it in the core. I love when I run, I feel it in my abs. Stay with me. 15 seconds. That's it. I told you a minute goes by fast. 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 0, 4, 0. All right. Flipping the page. Five more, baby. Five more. Ooh, I didn't see this. 
I didn't see the the last part. <laughs> Round three. Round three. It's gonna be hard for me, personal reasons. I'll tell you when we get there. Got ready for interval number three and block number two though. Okay, six, five, 10, no. Got five more of these. We do it, attack it one at a time, just like that. Cross it up the board after we get it done. It's like a little, you get the check, done, check. That's how we do these intervals. <sighs> Stay focused and don't overwhelm yourself. We go five, four, three, two, six, five, ten. Oh, pick it up, baby. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. There we go. Ah, 20 minutes in, 20 minutes to go. Officially halfway through this workout. The last two minutes of this workout are all a cool down. Okay, so 18 minutes of hard work. Stay with me here. 30 seconds left. Who do you want to be today? You choose. You set yourself up, right? Become that perfect version of yourself that you daydream about. Who is that person? That person can run, doesn't quit smiles through some pain, right? So be that person. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Walk it out. Three, oh, four, oh. Good. I know, it sounds so simple, right? We should always be that version of ourselves we hold in our heads. It is not. Not usually how we live our life. We let all these outside forces, right? Kind of dictate our perception of who we really are. Only you know who you really are. Yeah, and I know that can be mean. Your kids, they don't know you as well as you know yourself. Your husband, your wives, same thing. Your best friends, your moms, your dads. You know you down to your core. You wanted to run as silly as it sounds, right? We're just talking about running here. You wanted to run. There's a reason you wanted to run. You didn't pick this running workout and say, I don't want to give it my all. I don't want to quit. Five, four, three, two. So when I say six, five, 10, oh, you pick a pace that's challenging and you hold it for a minute. You don't go six, five, the bottom baseline, because you know you can hold it for a minute because you've done it before. Nothing happens in that comfort zone. I promise you that. Got to push yourself a little bit more. Push yourself to the edge, physically, mentally. That's how you grow, creating more space to live in, right? 30 seconds. You got it, come on. Let's work, let's work. You have 30 seconds left. We're more than halfway through. More than halfway through block number two. I know I made it rhyme. Extra bonus for rhyming. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh. All right, here's your moment to breathe. We're not monsters here, we let you breathe a little bit, okay? Interval, five, six, and seven. You have three more left. Let it out. It's okay to breathe heavy, okay? It's okay to be out of breath. I want you to push yourself. I want you to feel like you're almost not gonna make that whole entire minute run, but that there's like something inside of you today that is not gonna let you quit. There's a fire inside of you. Let it burn, baby. Let it burn. Okay, that's what we do here. 15 seconds. We're gonna burn it out by running so fast. Here we go. Same pace, six, five, 10, oh. Option to increase whenever you feel like it, okay? Ain't no need to hold yourself back, why? Everybody else try to hold you back. You ain't holding yourself back. We go fast in three, two, one, six, five, 10, oh. Six, five, 10, oh. Smile, baby. Smile, that's how the magic happens. One step at a time, we run, we work. I feel like a gazelle 
light and airy on the toes. That's what that uh, hit training will do to you. Because you get enough time to bring new life, all that oxygen back into your, into your lungs, into your body, right? When you breathe on that walk and recovery. So when you get to this hit, it's like a big explosion of speed. 15 seconds. Come on, come on. Ooh, ooh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now walk it out. 3, 0, 4, 0. All right. Two more. Interval 6, recovery. Interval 7, recovery. Block number 3. Takes us to the finish line. It's a short block. Okay? Only about 7 minutes into the block. Only four rounds of intervals. I'm not telling you what it is, it's a secret surprise. You give me two more here, and then I'll tell you what it is. It could be harder, it could be easier, it's just the way that you choose to see it. <laughs> I know for me, a little, I wanna say, at a level one through 10, it'll probably be like a 7.5. That's my opinion. 10 seconds. Okay. We're going five, four, three, two. Pick it up. Six, five, ten. Oh, obviously, you can make it as hard as you want. I'm just giving you a kind of look into the future, what you got in store for you. All right. Hit number six. We go hard, okay? Then we get to go home. But until then, you run, baby. 30 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Stay with me. Don't forget to breathe. A lot of times we have a hard time with running. We haven't figured out how to breathe and run. At the same time, sounds simple enough. But it is hard. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Walk it out. Three, oh, four, oh. Okay. You have one more. I know I'm gonna need my towel. All right, can't leave that bad boy on the floor. It's too hot here. So it already rained like torrential downpour. Then the sun came out within the same 20 minutes van. So you know the humidity is high in the state of New Jersey. Okay, it's sticky down here. I just need my towel. Wash off my mustache when sweat stash comes in. 30 seconds. Hit number, lucky number seven. Seven. Whose lucky number is it? Huh? Huh? All right, six, five, 10, oh. 15 seconds. You ready? 10. Nine, eight, go faster on this one. It's the last time you have to run this fast, okay? Last speed interval, three, two, one, pick it up. We're still doing intervals, okay? The paces change on the next round. They're harder in a different way. I'm not what you hear, I'll tell you, because we're adding in hills, okay? Everybody I hear on the other side, oh, hills, yes. All right, so we have, we start, with a walk. We walk on a hill, we run on a hill. We walk on a hill, we run on a hill. The good news is that run is only a jog. So the pace is a little bit slower. You walk on the hill, the hill is higher when we walk. We take it down the hill, but we're still on a hill. We jog. So walk, jog, walk, jog, big hill, little hill, big hill, little hill, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, this one's a flat road. Three, oh, four, oh. All right. Three, oh, four, oh. We're in recovery minute here. The next minute, we're still staying three, oh, four, oh. Five on an incline. The hills get higher than that. All right. Five on an incline. 
3040. We take the hill when we run, we jog. The hill only comes down to a two, but we're still on a hill. The pace is 5575. Five, five. Those stay the same. The only thing that's going to change on this round is that when we walk, the hill will increase, right? The incline will increase. So the first one is five. So I know if I confuse you, I'm sorry, I do that, okay? <laughs> Just stick with me one minute at a time, like I said in the beginning. We're gonna take it up. If you wanna walk a little bit faster, you can, but remember we're going right up to a five on an incline. We do that in four, three, two, one. All right, so if it was confusing before, it'll make sense really quick right after this. We're gonna take, after this minute, we're only taking the hill down to a two. That is where we stay when we pick up the pace. Always a two hill when we have our jogging interval. When we walk, the hills get higher. So, you have about 40 seconds. We take the incline down to two. We pick up the pace, five, five, seven, five. I should not be confusing anyone. <laughs> should be okay. I know, sometimes things don't make sense to me. Okay, so if it, your brain doesn't feel like working, it's okay. It is okay. Did I take my hill down? There we go. 15 seconds. All right, in five seconds, you take the hill down to a two. In three, two, one, down to a two on that incline. Oh, that's my pace. I got it. Here we go, two on the incline. Pick up the pace. Five, five, seven, five. There we go. I'll figure it out. I've only been doing this for a couple years now. You'd think I know by now. <laughs> one minute. So you're just jogging on a hill. It's not as fast as the hit interval in the last block, right? But you can feel the hill. It's a little, a little speedy, but not super fast. Just a jog. 30 seconds. We take it back to our walk. Remember, we only have four rounds. We're already coming up on interval number two. We go back to our walking pace. 3040, six, six on the incline. This is it right here, all right? The home stretch. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go. Take that pace down. 3040. Let's go six on that incline. It happens fast, it's only a minute. Good, how are we feeling? Same thing. We take the incline down to a two. We pick up the pace, five, five, seven, five. Okay, remember, hit the right buttons, okay? Don't confuse the two. Good, squeeze those glutes as you're walking up the hill. No, hand it on, no hold it onto the handlebars, right? Use your actual body. Don't hold on for dear life. No one's coming to save you. Okay, 20 seconds, we go. <sighs> 10 seconds, you can take off the incline, but keep a two incline in five, four, three, two. Take the incline down to a two. Five, five, seven, five, three, two, one. Pick it up. All right, you only got two more of this. And it's basically the same, it just said when we walk, the hill gets a little steeper. So we started on a five, we went to a six, we go to a seven. Three, oh, four, oh, seven on that hill. Stick with me here. You almost like to prefer the jog. I prefer the jog. Walking on an incline, oh, it's not like it's the hardest thing, but I gotta like stay in like a, a different type of mental state. This is a constant like push off the back heel, constant push through the glutes. That I always gotta keep my mind and my body synced up. And I know it's just walking, but you get used to what you get used to. <laughs> 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh, seven on the incline. Okay, there we go. Walk on that hill, walk up that hill. I lost my towel again. Here we go, starting to feel that one, huh? Got one more round. 
one more round. We jog, we go to the hill, we jog again, okay? Two more jogs, one more hill, two minutes recovery. Last five minutes of the workout, look at that. I told you, something about like the 30 to 40 minutes goes by quick, it's like 45 to an hour. There's like the extra 10, 15 minutes, man. I feel it, I like them though. I like walk, working out, I like being on the treadmill for an hour. Here we go. Take it down to a two, pick it up, five, five, seven, five. Strong, baby. So the next hill is the steepest hill. Eight on the incline. Walking pace, still the same. Enjoy it. We're in the home stretch. You can see the finish line. All you gotta do is run to it. One more hill, one more jog, finish line. Then you get that victory lap. 30 seconds, stay. Breathe and work, maybe twerk. Twerking on the treadmill, twerking on the treadmill. Ooh, ooh. It's a new thing. It hasn't come out yet. It'll drop soon, guys. 10 seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take down the pace, three, oh, four, oh, eight on the incline. Can you believe it? You got one more after this. You take the incline down to the two, five, five, seven, five. We just jog right through that finish line. You see it? Want that ribbon on your chest. Pew, 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 pew. 30 seconds. Feel a sweaty? Remember, this was way too easy. You got a lot of wiggle room in those paces. If you've been running at max pace this whole entire time, give yourself credit, pat on the back, because you're an animal, right? If you have more places to grow from, it's just getting started. Your fitness journey has just begun, all right? Don't beat yourself up where you are now. Beat yourself up if you don't stay consistent. You keep coming back, you put in the work. That's how you feel better. Here we go. Take off the hill, two on the hill. Two on the hill. Five, five, seven, five, pick it up. Five, five, seven, five. Last minute we run or jog. If you have a little extra in the gas tank, here's your time to shine, baby. Pick up the pace. Grand finale. What's holding you back? There's a reason you chose, now I'm safe. Now I'm good here. Because if you don't have a real reason, right? And you're just being a butthole in your own head. Like, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I don't need it anymore, I don't need to hard. I worked hard enough. You're the problem. And I'm gonna be honest, you are the problem then. You're the problem in you. You tell yourself you're okay, you're complacent with where you wanna go. You don't wanna accept change. You don't wanna push harder. You said you did enough. I know you're not gonna like that. <laughs> so it's gonna, it's gonna pee you off. Pee you off real bad. Here we go. Take it to that flat road. Let's go 3040. And then guess what happens? You like this sudden rage inside of you or you just wanna run faster. And then I have done my job. You know, try to be as nice as I can. Sometimes, you need a little whew, pat on the butt. Let's go, team. Let's go. You got one more minute after this. Two, five, three, five. It, it will be your, it, it will, let me try it again. It will be your cool down minute. So, you made it. I'm proud of you guys. I don't think it was the hardest workout. I think it was a great workout to just keep you guessing and on your toes and keep you accountable and 100% present in the moment, right? Because anytime you're running for a minute, you don't really have enough time to distract. You don't have enough time to send texts and stuff. You don't have enough time to let your mind drift off. 2535 five, kind of keeps you exactly where you need to be. All right, let's just kind of go through what we did. Three different blocks. The first block, the longest, a progression. Every single minute, we didn't stop running, we just increased our pace. 
second round, we did our fastest pace, our hit interval runs with our walking on a flat road. Our third one, walking on an incline, jogging on an incline. Jogging on a hill for me is, is tricky. It's a little tough. I feel that, I feel that. My legs gas out. It's always a challenge for me. But the best thing is you get a little bit of everything. Right, yeah, a little surprise. A little surprise, like a charcuterie board. You gotta taste it all together, okay? 15 seconds. <laughs> I love me charcuterie board, okay? We have another five, four, three, two, one. You can hit that stop button. Remember, as IVEX running, I'm Coach Rachel. 60 second interval insanity. Make sure you towel off, make sure you hydrate, and make sure you come back. I'll see you next time.